and we're here for another Mario Kart episode. I'm Dave. I'm JP. And we're just going to run you through, we're just going to discuss the latest update to Mario Kart 8 JP. Um, well actually it's the first update I think, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's the first update to my knowledge. So what new updates do we have in store? There's quite a lot of stuff here. This is a it's, it's a pretty beefy update. Like it's not just um, like in the past when we've got Mario Kart patches, it's just been to fix a glitch or something like that. It's never been um, to actually add new modes and things like that. So um, yeah, it's good to see them doing this. I hope we get more because I I just think Mario Kart 8 could really be expanded on. Actually, half, half yeah. of the half of the things in this update. I kind of expected to be in the game in the first place. Okay. Yeah. So, like, it's good. It's good to see them now, but you know, I I do wonder why they weren't there mm. to begin with. For starters, uh, one of the features that's coming in this patch. Oh, it, it comes um, twenty seventh of August. By the way, it's, I think that's worldwide release date. Yeah. One of the features is um, being able to display the course map on the TV screen, whereas previously you could only do it if you were using the gamepad. You could see it on the gamepad screen. Yeah, I was never aware of this until actually a month ago when I realized I couldn't actually get it on the top screen. Because oh, okay. all the time I would just look at the gamepad. <laughs> do you use the gamepad a fair bit, though? Um, I only use it as a screen now because I use the controller to race. Yeah. Pro controller, yeah, I love the controller as yeah. well. And I have the game pad in front of me, and I just have the map on that, and that's how I follow it most yeah. of the time. That's how, that's how I used to do it, but yeah, it, it does get annoying having to look down at the screen. So yeah, it's mm. good because that that's kind of been like a staple of the Mario Kart series, having a mini map up in the corner, hasn't it? You've yeah. always had that, as far as I can remember. Yeah, it's always been up in the corner or somewhere. So that's one of the things that really should have been there to begin with. Mm. Um, well, maybe they were trying to make use of the gamepad features. Yeah, they would definitely be trying to push it. <laughs> Here's one I actually do like. Um, they changed the default choice to next race instead of view highlight in the menu that appears after the race of the Grand Prix mode. Yeah, I always, <laughs> I would always accidentally just click view highlight because when when you're playing offline through a Grand Prix, you just mash A and you just want to, you just want to get to the next race, hey? Yeah, and I fall and pray to that too. I'll keep on pressing A, and it will show the highlight of the race, and I go, no, I don't want to, I want to go to the next race, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I have to quit. Yeah, press B or whatever, and then go back, and yeah, it's just a hassle. Uh, that they, they were definitely trying to like I I love Mario Kart TV, but yeah. they were really just trying to ram it down our throats there, weren't they? <laughs> yeah, they probably forgot to actually have Nick's race at the top. <laughs> you reckon they forgot? Mm. Uh, I reckon it was on purpose. I reckon they wanted people to use Mario Kart TV as much as possible. Another another thing that um. The game will do now is it'll remember the vehicle parts you last used the next the next time you race next even the next time you boot up the game it'll remember the last vehicle combination whether it be cart or bike that you used so that that's really handy i think yeah that'll be very handy actually i kind of have a bad memory now and then because <laughs> <laughs> because i have my favorite yeah. combo well i have a couple favorite combos but you, you know um Mm. I, I do forget about them, so it's handy to, you know, be able to boot up the game after not playing for like a week, and mm. you know, there, there's your co combo that you always use. I think online, that doesn't it re remember your um? Yeah, it actually does remember. Yeah, but, it does. But like quick moments where, say, you get Rainbow Road and you happen to be a heavy character on a bike, that can work against your favor. I oh, so, so you want to be able to um, change your vehicle parts between each race? Not between each race because that would just be long. Yeah, take, long. take too much time, yeah. Yeah, but mainly probably once every four or five races or something. Or... Yeah, 
Uh, or it's an option where you go, <laughs> oh, it's that stage. Okay, I want to change my car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, w- it would be handy. Yeah. Uh, I agree with maybe like once every four races, let um, everyone have the option to quickly change their character cut combination. Yeah. Give them like limited time. But yeah, when you're racing online, yeah. you do get bored of using the same character as well and you just want to yeah. quit out pick a different one and yeah that was actually one of the things i liked about mario kart 7 a lot is that yeah after four races you would change out yeah oh well yeah when when racing with uh with friends Mm. um in mario kart tv they added the ability to copy and edit the highlight video of other players what does that actually mean that is a good question, because <laughs> I th- I thought you could already have the highlight of other players that you've raced with. Exactly. So I don't know what they're actually saying here. Perhaps you can actually view the full highlight now of of other people in the race, whereas before you could. I'm pretty sure you could only view the full highlight of yourself, couldn't you? I'm not sure. Somehow I actually got another person's highlight in my. Yeah, yeah, you can you can add other people because you can set it to thirty seconds, forty five, or sixty, and then you can yeah. pick up to four players that you want it to um, spotlight yeah. to switch between. Yeah, yes. Let's say I wanted yours and my highlights. I could do that. Yeah, I I, I think it must be it's it's just worded weirdly. I, I think it must be to be able to view the full replay. So. Like, if you and me had a race with online with some randoms, I could just choose to watch you for the full race, whereas you can't do that at the moment. I assume that's right. the case. As for the online, it seems they're improving the stability. So, like, you used to get a lot of um, errors. I would still constantly get unable to join, particularly when uh, playing global, because so many people are trying to get in the one race. I thought I only got that because the room was actually full. So, yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, but it it's also happens if it's, I, I don't know, like it could not be full, still have two spots, but if other people are spectating, waiting for those spots, you can't get in either. Like you can't mm. even get in to spectate with the spectators. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. But um, yeah, I, I hope I hope the online does get better. Like, it's not as bad. It's it's not that bad for a Nintendo game. The online's pretty decent. But yeah, just just those communication errors. If they happen less frequently, I'd be pretty happy. Yeah. Um. What about the scoreboard screen? Did you mention that one? Oh no. Um. Yeah. yeah did you want, skipped one. Did you, sorry. Do you want to mention that one? Okay. So apparently also. There's a scoreboard screen that can be viewed at the number of characters, the win-loss total number, coins, online play, etc., all of that. So, so yeah, this it is actually like, record statistics. Yeah, it's a stats page. That's one of the things I actually expected to be in the game to begin with. But, yeah, it's going to be good that I can actually see how close I am to that 10,000 coins <laughs> for the gold glider because I've got no idea how close I am or how far away I am. I'd like to see that screen with as much statistics as you can fit in there. Like, I want to see who my favourite character is to play as. I want to see... Um, <laughs> I think I already know who mine is. I, I actually don't know. I, I swap up characters so much, I wouldn't know who I've most played as. Mm. I think I've used Roy a lot. Yeah, I think for you it's Roy. Yeah. <laughs> you love Roy. Yeah, if only he did well in the online. If I had to, if I had to take a guess, mine's probably Metal Mario. Mm. But um, there's a few others that it could be. Anything uh, else that that statistic page shows that we know of? Well, I fear to see my win-loss record. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty bad sometimes, yeah. Once I get hit, it's usually all over for me, and it's very hard for me to catch up. Yeah. And I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just um, just got to use the rage as fuel. 
<laughs> yeah, and then you go faster. Got to go fast. Yeah, I I don't know what other problems they fix. I think they're fixing other problems, but um, we don't yeah. actually know what else they're fixing. Oh, and of course, what what's what's the biggest thing of this update, JP? Well, apparently we're gonna get three new cars. Yeah, and they're Mercedes brand. Yep. Yeah, I, I actually thought there was only one car. Well, these three new models are the GLA, the W25 Silver Arrow, and the 300 SL Roadster. And so, yeah. What do you think of the car? I don't know. It's very weird because I actually work at a Mercedes car wash. Yeah. And so <laughs> this is like some weird silver lining or whatever it is trying to tell me that yeah it's all because i work at mercedes I <laughs> this <laughs> i don't know it's weird <laughs> your your work and your your gaming are coming together being as one yeah, there's some <laughs> sort of line in the universe or something going on here i don't quite get it <laughs> what do you what do you think of the actual car though how does it look in the game they look all right they kind of look big and out kind of out of context i don't know they just look a bit weird they do they do look a bit out of place i yeah yeah. i i think it will be fun to use something Uh, different it is kind of comical but at the same time it's kind of like it just doesn't quite fit yeah yeah i think that they were definitely going for the comical with that um trailer we saw a while back with the um (laughs) the human mario um you, you saw it, didn't you? For the, the Japanese? Yeah, I saw it way back. Yeah. yeah. I even see the new one with Daisy driving a red Mercedes. Yeah, why does she have a red one and everyone else has? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think they came up with something on the law, didn't they? Ah, uh, yeah. Nintendo are in on it. Yep. <laughs> they definitely yeah, know. It's filled with the blood of all the other victims. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a bit too violent for a Mario game. But um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be cool to um, just to drive in three new vehicles. I'm interested in what their stats are, but <laughs> yeah, I'd I'd hope for some for some more Mario themed vehicles in future DLC. Yeah, totally. I was actually hoping we could change the wheels or the we could probably still change the glider, but yeah. Oh, you don't think we can change the wheels? Do you think we can? Um. That's a good question, hey, because it might might look a bit ridiculous, and that would look bad for Mercedes. They might just want, <laughs> they might just want as the standard. Yeah. Yeah. You choose that car, you know that that's what you get. Those wheels. I didn't actually take notice in the trailer whether all the characters had different wheels or not. Yeah. I don't I think. Back and watch it. I saw that. Speaking of updates, how do you feel this is? Is this a good start? Definitely, considering yeah, considering past Mario Kart games didn't really get much of an update. Um, this is a great start. I just hope that it's not the one and only big update. I hope they yeah. keep, keep updating it because um, um, yeah, Mario Kart Eight could definitely use it. I'm actually hoping down the line we get some character DLC. Yeah, for sure. I am really missing King Boo in this Mario Kart install. <laughs> you can't be missing him that much. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> I mean, it's nice we got the Cooper kids. But, yeah, I still want my favorite back. He's been missing for quite a while, actually. Yeah. Because he wasn't in Mario Kart 7 either. I'd still love to see some new characters as well. I mean, Diddy Kong and King Boo and ones like that, they definitely deserve to be in, but... Um, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see what newer Mario characters they would pick from the Mario universe. Yeah, it's kind of odd. They've got all the Cooper kids, yet they've got no Bowser Jr. Yeah, hang on. Wh- which one came first? Was it Bowser Jr. or the Koopalings? The Koopalings came first. But, yeah, they've only just recently made a comeback because yeah. of the new Super Mario Brothers. So that that's probably why they would have got in, just because they're more relevant at the time. Mm. 
you saw that um leaked so so called leaked uh Mario Kart DLC screen which ended up you know amounting to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. What did what did you think of the characters in that one? You had Professor Egad and Plessy from Super Mario 3D World. There were some neat choices in there, I think. Yeah, I think that wasn't too bad. Yeah, and I'm pretty much expecting something like that down the line. Yeah. Character DLC or something like that. I think yeah. I think we'd have to get some new characters. I don't think they would just update the game mm. for the sake of giving everyone those Mario Kart Wii characters back, like King Boo. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I would also like to see new tracks down the line. Because eventually we are going to get tired of these tracks or we're going to want something new out of them. True, true. Though, though to be fair, I think um, Mario Kart 8's tracks, like overall, are probably like the best group of tracks that we've seen. Oh, in don't Mario get game. me wrong. Totally. I mean, they are some of the best tracks ever. But 16, it feels so small. Yes, we have 16 retro ones, but they can get old pretty quickly. Well, some of the retro ones have been done up. But yeah, yeah others I, just... I count some of the retro ones as new. Yeah. Just because of how different they are to the originals. Yeah. I, reckon, I reckon we'll leave it at that, JP. We've covered everything. Pretty excited about the update? Um, Yeah, there's a few nice changes there. Yeah, hopefully it'll make our experience much better. Hopefully we'll have even more fun. I'm not as excited about the update as I am about the update possibly paving the way for better updates to come. Yeah, totally. Let's hope there's something really special down the line. I, st I still want to see some proper leaderboards in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nintendo doesn't like that. You're going to have to talk to them. What are you talking about? Nintendo <laughs> love leaderboards. For, 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 for years, Like we would get games without online play and just leaderboards. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. God. Games that just made sense to have online play and they didn't. They only had leaderboards. And now we have online play without the leaderboards. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, so I hope anyone listening enjoyed our coverage of the Mario Kart update. I'm sure if there's any future Mario Kart DLC, we'll be willing to cover it again. Even though our usual um, topic of choice is Smash Bros. But... Hey, we'll need to do something after it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Alright, till next time. See ya. Bye.